All right, today on the table, I have the Taurus Curve. And the Taurus TCP. Price difference, you're looking at about a $110 split. The Taurus Curve being about $110 more. Trigger break. The curve breaks very nicely. No movement when the trigger breaks. TCP. Also breaks incredibly nice. I really don't see an advantage to either one. The size. They're almost completely identical, except for the Taurus curve is fatter. Weight, the TCP, is a lighter firearm. Now the Taurus Curve is a heavier firearm, and it does cost a bit more, but it has an advantage over other compact pistols. The biggest one being that there's a flashlight on it. And typically when you run a compact pistol, you're giving up your ability to have a flashlight unless you have a separate flashlight, then you're stuck doing one of these numbers and this gets extremely fatiguing. Not to mention when you draw your firearm, you also have to draw a flashlight. It takes a little bit longer. Pretty much like if you do one of these for long enough, it turns into this. And then you only have basically one hand shooting. Your control of the firearm goes down. Your accuracy typically goes down. And this may be fatter, but this is already a holster. It's a complete setup. This you have to still get a holster for it, which is going to add some girth on it. Possibly be fatter than this in the end. Now as far as the laser sight on this firearm, it's almost needed because there's no sights. All you got is this X right there, and then when your loaded flag's up, you'll have kind of like a semi-reference point for where you're going to shoot. But this is really designed for super close quarters combat anyway. The reason I'm not a fan of laser sights is, you know, when I was a kid, they were in Hollywood, like, everywhere. So as soon as Walmart made a cheap enough one to where I could afford it, every single one of my firearms had laser sights. Right up to the point to where Airsoft got popular. I had a Tokyo Marauder M4, and we would play woods games at night, and I started off running a laser sight, because that's what I like. But I think I'd hear someone, I'd click on my laser sight, and then all of a sudden I'd just get shot from all different angles. And I still had no idea where the person is, because just seeing a red dot out there doesn't help you identify crap. Then I switched over to a flashlight. Heard something coming, just click it on, click it off real quick, change positions, and when it's really dark and you click on your flashlight like that, one, they go flash blind, two, like the image, you'll be able to remember it really, really good because you haven't been seeing stuff for very long. So you change positions, then light them up while they're shooting to where you used to be. And if you've never run... An airsoft gun with a tracer unit, I'd strongly recommend trying it. It's super awesome. It's like Star Wars. Now the Taurus Curve does have a magazine disconnect. So it will not fire without a mag in it. And how the mag comes out is pretty weird. It's like a retention clip. You just squeeze the sides like this, pull it straight out. The Taurus TCP does not have a magazine disconnect, and it's your standard mag release. Pretty easy to do. Be careful when you're using it, though, because of the way this is designed. If you're holding it, it'll wind up pinching your fingers when you push the mag in. When you purchase these firearms, the TCP comes with one mag. Uh, they're both the same capacity, 6 plus 1. And you get a cardboard box. Taurus lockdown keys. All your owner's manuals, brochures, please join the NRA, stuff like that. The Taurus Curve, you do get a hard case. Now, they did pretty good on the latch here. That's going to last a lifetime of the firearm. But unfortunately, the back of the case, it's just a folded plastic. This is eventually going to snap. Not going to last very long. The Taurus Curve, you also get a second magazine. All the same paperwork as the TCP. And you do also get your lockdown keys. Would I purchase the Curve? 
over the TCP or I've purchased the TCP over the curve. The curve is very purpose designed. You have to use this thing because otherwise your laser sight and flashlight button just slides on too easy and it's going to click on and off on you. And how this is designed to work is this is your lanyard. It attaches to your belt and then here's a retention clip. It just goes inside your waistband or inside your pocket. Then when you draw it, that comes off. You could probably also use this in your boot if you can find a way to attach this to your body. This, on the other hand, is your standard small pistol. You could go in the wallet holster, put it in your back pocket, inside jacket pocket. Um, you could probably get the model without the laser sight and just use the retention clip and have the same options. The Taurus Curve is also a curved firearm, so it's made to form to your body. Not really good for your left-handed shooters. Myself, honestly, I'd probably pick the TCP, just a little bit more versatile. It can do more jobs. Like I said, this is very, very purpose-built. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why.